my name's Rebecca Terborg. I'm uh, I grew up in Aotearoa, but at the moment living in Auckland. But most of my sort of formative years with my art practice was probably in Wellington at uh, Massey Design School, and just um, there's a really good scene there. Uh, yeah, and I've got lots of artist friends that really supported me at that time. Mm. Always just loved drawing and illustration. It's always been a really quite a clear path for me, like from childhood, being probably almost obsessed with with drawing all the time. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I was really, really stoked when I found out that doing illustration was actually a job and I could sort of follow that pathway. So the environment is really important to me and I think in some ways it comes out quite subtly in my work so I'm obviously quite drawn to drawing nat natural elements and including them and I'm hope to sort of just generate a feeling of joy around nature because I think that's where the um, sort of heart of instead of telling people not to use plastic and and not to do all these things that generating a love, especially amongst children and young people for mm. the natural world is one way to approach it. Uh, I really like drawing insects and I think that they're a little bit undervalued because there's some of the, you know, bees are dying off and it's not something people see and they're not always as cute. I feel like my style's quite organic, like um, I really enjoy doing quite sort of swirly sort of tangled lines like sort of because I really love drawing plants and flowers as cliched as it sounds but I like the freedom that that sort of gives you and I try to draw quite instinctively like it sort of feels like it's flowing out of me but at the same time it's not very expressive in the medium I use because it's quite a fine sort of tight medium using a black ink pen so at the same time there's a bit of cleanness to it as well and I'm quite fussy about my colours. I'd like work at them for ages, fine tuning and seeing what works best, which is what Photoshop's good for. I try and draw everything by hand and then scan it in because the process for me is much more enjoyable. I think it could be done on Procreate, but I do notice that I feel more uplifted after I've drawn in real life on some paper than I do when I've been staring at a screen. It's sort of more tiring and draining to do it that way. But then again, when you're working with clients, there's often changes and that can really make you stumble if you haven't sort of got a digital process with things and layers that can be moved and yeah, yeah. I think that my way is probably a bit slower than it needs to be, but I enjoy it more that way. I just finished designing a fabric, which was really awesome and something new for me. So um, making it a repeat pattern. Uh, what else have I got? Got a couple of group shows coming up. There's a, one about maps that everybody's like illustrated or um, made art from maps based in Greylin, Ponsonby. There's a couple of things coming up next year. Um, I'm going to be doing some animation or design or illustration for animation so that's going to be something new for me as well yeah, but it's been really really awesome to uh, get the opportunity to do a few murals as well it feels like an extension of my illustration practice rather than something completely different just sort of on a larger scale and um has a probably a wider audience or a different audience So I haven't tried spray paint yet. Um, I've been using brushes because that's just what I have a little more experience of in a smaller scale. Um, I do have to work on my speed a little bit, probably. <laughs> Getting a bit, um, just from being an illustrator, I think, thinking about the details. So just remembering to step back and have a look at the, the overall, yeah, boldness of the design. And that's why painting murals is nice too, because it feels really real, like the actual, feeling of painting with a brush is really nice. I think just being being in a different space, being in a um, in a, a space that's shared by a lot of other people and really thinking about who who I'm painting for and who's going to see it. I like to think of kids coming past and spotting it and that's partly why 
I try to do quite positive, bright um, images, yeah, and and engaging with people. Like sometimes, it, sometimes you know you have to just work, and <laughs> you can't talk all the time. But but I do like that that you're getting immediate feedback from your work. I'm really looking forward to just being out in the public and engaging with the community again because illustration can be quite an isolated practice. I've got my little studio that I sit in all by myself and I really enjoy that about murals that you can sort of interact with people and feel like you're doing something that's sort of part of a bigger thing instead of, um, yeah, just working away by yourself. And yeah, I just, I love that I can add to the atmosphere of a of a small area that and be part of what other, lots of other people have contributed to in such awesome ways. Um, 